Hey everyone, it's Jack Ballou. Thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk today about conditioning senior horses. So I've just pulled a, a, one of my older horses here out of the corral. She, I realize she's super dirty and super hairy. So this is a very ad hoc sort of video. Um, but I wanted to, in case you missed it a couple of months ago, I posted on my website an article about conditioning senior horses. So there's some very clear information there about some of the things to keep in mind, specific things like the thermo thermoregulation that changes in aging horses. Um, the biggest thing though that we know now um, because of being able to study it is that big vacillations in fitness are very taxing for older horses metabolically. So if they end up with a period, let's say through the winter, where they don't get at least three days of exercise every week, their fitness drops, and then when you start to exercise them again, when the weather gets better, it's very um, taxing. What ends up should be aerobic work for them becomes anaerobic, stressful for the metabolic system and that ages them faster. The best thing that you can do is keep them at a baseline of fitness. I know this is hard, um, but even 25 minutes of movement every day for your senior, uh, seniors being defined as horses over 20. What generally happens is people acknowledge, okay, my horse is older, and they start treating it like an older horse. Uh, you might do the same for yourself as you get older, and you start backing off your exercise without very clear specific indicators to do so. Um, so veterinarians agree on this. Wait for those specific indicators. Maybe your horse is stumbling a whole lot um, and you need to, to back off a little bit on what you're doing. Maybe he's telling you all of a sudden he can't ride down steep hills anymore and you need to only trail ride on flat ground. You can modify what you're doing. If you want specific exercise suggestions, in this book of mine, Equine Fitness, there is a section on senior horses. It's on page 27. There's a list of suggested exercises and things to keep in mind um, for conditioning your senior horse, keeping them at a good level of fitness. But the big takeaway for you all is keep them moving. Movement can take all forms. It could be hand walking, ground driving, ponying them, a light trail ride, ground poles, actual riding. But don't back off until you have clear reasons to do so. This might be a time to invest in a heart monitor, check their heart rate. Don't leave everything up to their respiration rate. Older horses will pant or huff and puff more than younger horses, but as I said, a lot of that is due to the, their um, diminishing ability to cool themselves. It has more to do with thermoregulation than it does with them um, telling you the exercise is too hard. So don't put all of your assessment on their fitness level by on their respiration. Um, check in with their heart rate. That's a more accurate indicator, in my opinion, about how um, taxing something is or isn't. And as I said, a 25 minutes of exercise is great. Certainly, um, until the horse tells you otherwise, you should have at least one day a week where you ride them an hour or longer. You know, that might be your trail ride day. Maybe you go out for four or five miles. But try to get that low, steady heart rate, long, slow distance day in. Um, and so, so those are some tips on conditioning the senior horse. As I said, there's also an article on my website, jackballoo.com slash training tips that I encourage you to check out. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time.